Hey guys, it's Melly P. It's Thursday, which means it's time for our weekly video warehouse walk where I show you the latest and greatest that is in the warehouse. This week, today actually, also happens to be my seven year P anniversary. So happy, happy anniversary to me. So here is what is latest and greatest in the warehouse this week. First off, this is new from Seven Gypsies. This happens to be probably my favorite pattern paper that they've come out with for quite a while. And it's all double-sided. Great designs. Stripes. This is their Venice collection. Show you some of that. Also new from our walk last week is from Studio Calico. You might be familiar or heard of them before because of their kits. Well, now they are venturing into the manufacturing and have this great new line called Homefront. All double-sided papers. This one's really cute. It's got houses and then um, a tree smack dab in the corner there. Love the colors that they've come up with. Kind of vintagey, but all Super usable, even if vintage isn't your style. Wood planks, the floor plan, which has been really popular. This, uh, this one is one of my favorites. This one is one of those types where you can um, cut out pieces, use as is, use it as tags. Also really love um, this back. This was a sheet that was used in one of the featured gallery layouts earlier this week by Scrap Nick, I believe. Really cute. These are really fun. These are called fabrics, fabrics, uh, which are sticky fabric strips. And you can see up here kind of, this is where they start. And they're kind of sectioned off. So really you're just ripping a piece of this off. It's all fabric. And so there's different widths and different pieces that you can use. Very cool. Of course, love the wood grain and the grid. A great product idea. And then these cardstock stickers. P1 and I, I think, wish we could just buy all of these wood grain alphas in bulk because we love the typeface. And then my favorite color in gray over here. So you're getting two alphas. You're getting 199 stickers on one sheet, which is awesome. Two other great embellishments they have. This is their journaling cards. You're getting four in the package. And this is what they look like and they are double-sided as well so you kind of have more of a design on one side and something that you can journal on a little bit easier on the other and, and this is their die cut stickers great for adding just a a little bit of something a little bit of journaling whatever you'd like on there so that is new studio calico and i'll take a trip to the other warehouse these are little spread out this week but that's okay if you haven't taken a peek in the store there is new doodle bug which is super super cute lots of new storage ideas which i like because they're super affordable too check out this mini brad keeper if you can you can see how small it is in comparison to my hand really cute they have them in tons of different sizes here's for brad's but for those of us that constantly reorganize their scrap space, myself included, these I'm really interested in. This one they're calling their button keeper. Here, embellishments. So if you are like me and things end up out of the package and you can't find them, this would be a great way to round them up. They call this one their ribbon keeper. So that is part of the new doodle bug. You can see all these boxes. I have a secret to show you in them in a second. Then they have this awesome new line of fashion furnishings. Um, this is their collectible cupboard, which is super cute. I love that it has the scallop design and then it has three drawers on the bottom, which you can customize by putting your own paper in, which is such a great idea that you can constantly change your mind with just one piece of furniture and change the whole look of your space, which is awesome. They also have, this is their craft cup, which hopefully you can see the white on white. But it is wood and has acrylic in it, and then you can, again, customize it with your own paper. Hold your craft knife and such. Let me see what I can hear. 
Here's the shadow box. A great gift idea for the holidays. There's an 8x8 and there's also a 12x12. 12 12. Here's a, a good look at some of the pieces also that would be a little hard for me to get out of the boxes. Paper cubes, this cool wirecraft cubby, the apothecary chest, which is just like that cupboard that I showed you a second ago, only it's all little drawers, which of course you can put papers in the front and totally customize. And here is their scalloped shelf, which as the name implies is a shelf with the cute little scallop on the bottom. And now, don't tell, because this isn't in the system yet, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek at <laughs> new Martha stuff. Okay, so take a look. I don't even know if you can see. This is some of the Martha stuff. That over there is more Martha stuff. So I'm going to give you a peek, because I haven't just put it in the system yet, but I couldn't resist. These, I'm definitely going to have to add to my bucket. These are felt borders. They come in tons of different colors, but the blue was on top, so that's what I'm going to give you a glimpse of. And notice the stitching on them as well. So you get seven pieces. There's all kinds of stuff. I swear this Martha line is huge. With each new release, it keeps getting bigger. Um, a new edge punch, butterflies. Um, Pop-up butterflies. Here are colored pencils to color in. Um, stamped images that you might have done. Stickers. There are some super cute stickers that I saw over here. Different colors, they've got layers. Everything is really springy and clean and bright, which is funny to think about because it's November in Wisconsin, but hey, we'll go with it. Um, I really liked how she's done her flocking. It's a nice glass container, but the top um, kind of reminds me of like a pepper shaker or something, or a spice container where you can turn it and so you're not opening the whole thing because if I did that, I would have flocking everywhere. So instead, they made it so it's easily usable. So that's in that peony color. Let's see what else do I have here that I can easily get at. More punches. Actually, I think I want to show you over here. The other stuff that I found when I was digging around. Super cute. Take a look at these stickers. They actually are like three dimensional. So you don't have to do any of the work of punching multiple times and then sticking them together. You can take them right out of the bag. An awesome owl. Larger butterflies. These are felt animals, which go with this great designer paper pad. Wood grains. You have the forest animals. Bandana print. Notice you have like a little gloss on that sheet. I wanted to show you the one that I really liked. I thought that was kind of fun. You could do cut those out individually, use them as a, a strip. I mean, seriously, there are tons of Martha product in here. I've got these three-dimensional stickers, which really I just would like to stick one on my sweater because they look so fun and festive. Scissors. Okay, take a look at this cool stuff. So. Here's a package of iridescent fine glitter. So it's the teeny tiny glitter in 12 different colors. So that's the fine glitter. This is the iridescent hearts and stars, which is the chunkier glitter, which you can see it's got the way big pieces. Again, 12 different colors. And then this is the tinsel glitter, which as the name implies, is very festive and tinsel-like like you'd see around the holidays. Tons of gems, which you can't see super well because the packaging is still on. Adhesives, what else did I find over here? They have these new deep edge punches, which it is a monster mammoth punch, but really cool results and that it makes a very deep cut on your page, which is at like two and a half times the size of a standard edge punch. So that gives you a little bit of idea of how big that is. But that would add an awesome effect to your projects that you're working on, so you can make your own die cut paper if you'd like. But that is what is the latest and greatest and new stuff in the Two Piece Warehouse this week. Be sure to leave me a comment over on my Two Piece blog so that you have